Hey, this is Tyler with Nanobox. I'm going to show you how you can get started with a Python Flask app from scratch and also how you can use Nanobox to create a development environment uh, to continue to develop features on that app. So we're just going to follow along the Nanobox guides at guides.nanobox.io. I'm going to click into Python and then into the Flask framework and jump right into the Flask from scratch. And so when you go to do this yourself, you can follow along here, simple uh, copy and paste. So to get started, let's go ahead and create a new directory to start our Flask project. And we should probably change into that directory. Now let's go ahead and open that up in an editor. So Flask is really nice and simple. And so for this demonstration, I'm just gonna create the entire app in a single file. And following this guide, we'll just grab this example here. It's nice, uh, nice and easy to copy and paste that in there. So all this app is going to do is it's just going to respond to um, uh, to the to the root path with uh, "Hello Nanobox." It's pretty simple, not much to it. So now we want to go ahead and get our development environment up and running. And so with Nanobox. To do that, you first create a box file, and the box file is what informs Nanobox. And within that, we just specify how, like what, what requirements we need to be able to run our app. So in this case, just specify the Python engine. And with that in place, I can now, from the root of that application, I can now type Nanobox run. And in very short order, this is going to create the environment completely isolated that will have Python, that will have an environment that we can uh, install all of our, our, our pip packages. And, um, and we don't have to worry at all about uh, configuring our, our local machine. So it looks like that's just wrapping up. And when it's done, it's going to drop us right into this environment. Okay, so we can see now that we're in it that I do have Python installed. So now that I have Python installed, I'm going to need to install Flask. And I do that with pip. And once that's installed, I also want to freeze the pip installation and drop that into the requirements.txt file. And if we go back over to our source code, we can see that what that does is it just lists out all of the, the all of our, our, our uh, pip packages and the versions that we need so that the next time we run Nanobox, uh, it will just uh, install those for us. Okay, and the, the one modification that we do need to make to this application so that it can run in Nanobox is we need to tell it to listen on all interfaces and not just the, the uh, local host. And that's simple enough and we have an example here in the guides. So I'll just add that. And now I should have everything that I need to be able to run the app. There we go, it's up and running on, uh, the, on all interfaces at port 5000. And one thing I'm going to do just for convenience is I'm, I'm going to add a DNS because that makes it really simple uh, to access from the browser. So I'm just going to say nanobox DNS add local flask.dev. And with that in place, I can now go back over to the browser. I can op open up a new tab and I can say flask.dev port 5000 and there's the app. So from here, if I wanted to, I could modify the application. And after uh, restarting the Python app, all the changes are there. And when I'm done developing, I can close it down, exit out, and it shuts the whole environment down. So hopefully this has been helpful, and I encourage you to stick with us as we're going to do some more stuff with this app later. So thank you, and stay tuned.